Hey everyone, it's me Donna. I'm back with another DNA video, except this is going to be an update uh, video uh, about my 23andMe results. They just recently did an update, as you can see, uh, August the 29th, 2019. And of course, I actually went to their beta version as well and there was like an update a few months ago but this update is wow I mean this update actually favors my helix report a lot better so I'm very very pleased with this uh, this is what I knew to be uh, more in line with the truth of, of what I feel like I am <laughs> ethnically uh, yeah, and even though these are some of these are little bits and pieces, still, like I said, they're there, and that's what matters to me. I know this, you know, this is in me. I know that somewhere along the way I have ancestors, you know, who came from these regions and everything. So, wow, you know, some, some I can't figure out how in the world it came to be, but that's okay. <laughs> The point is, they did exist at one point in time, and so yeah, and it's good when reports actually start favoring each other, and the truth actually starts coming out, so hopefully, eventually, my Ancestry.com results will actually start <laughs> telling me more of the truth, but uh, wow, I mean, this is, so anyway, let's get down to it, okay. According to this new updated report, um, I am 95.6% Northwestern European, which includes British and Irish uh, at 52.5%. My French and German is 26.1%. My Scandinavian is 3.4%. My broadly Northwestern European is 13.6%. Then I have Southern European, which is 1.7%. And uh, that, of course, includes the Spanish and Portuguese. And now it's at 0.9%. Uh, the Italian is 0.6%. Uh, the broadly Southern European is at 0.2%, okay? Then I've got Eastern European, which is 0.5%, and then broadly European, which is 1.3%, okay? Then it gets into my Trace Ancestry, which basically says that I have 0.4% broadly Western Asian and North African, and 0.3% uh, uh, Angolian and Congolese, which that hasn't changed. That's pretty much remained the same. Uh, and then 0.1% broadly Central Asian and Northern Indian and Pakistani. Okay, and then I have 0.2% unassigned. Okay, all right, right here with the broadly Western uh, Asian and North African, as you can see, uh, that probably includes my Persian and, and all that um, that showed up in my Helix report. Then my uh, broadly Central Asian, which has to do with my uh, Punjabi and all that type of stuff uh, dealing with uh, Southern Asia. Okay, uh, and I think my unassigned, I, I still feel like that might have something to do with my Native American, not sure. Uh, again, I don't focus on the actual percentages because, you know, as I have seen with each test, that varies. Some tests say that it's more, some say it's less, so I don't get too wrapped up into that. I just know that it's there, and it's actually starting to show up. So, you know, when you get two or three, you know, tests that start showing this stuff, then to me, that's, you know, you can pretty much say, okay, it's there. So, yeah, I, I am very pleased with this. So, yeah, keep, keep up the good work, 23andMe. Thank you, guys. Bye.